What you should know about getting a flexible sigmoidoscopy. What is a flex sig? A flexible sigmoidoscopy is a procedure that allows a doctor to look inside your body at your colon or large intestine. You will not be given any medications. You will be fully awake. I'm Jerry Hopping. I'm one of the physician's assistants here at the Downtown Health Plaza, and I'm the person who does flexible sigmoidoscopies here. A flexible sigmoidoscopy is one of the screening tests that we use for colorectal cancer screening. It's not as invasive as the full colonoscopy. We only look at the lower one-third of the bowel. This is the area of the bowel where most colorectal problems develop. What we're actually looking for are small polyps or growths that can develop on the inside of the intestine. We know that if some of these stay in there long enough that they can turn into cancer. So this is basically a screening test looking for problems before uh, they develop into something much more serious. Why should I have a flex sig? A flexible sigmoidoscopy is recommended for adults aged 50 and older. If you have a family history of colon cancer, you may be asked to be tested earlier. This procedure is used to screen for colon cancer and is a national guideline. Early detection is key. Even if you have no symptoms, you will still benefit from having a flex sig. The scope is this instrument. We run this in in your rectum. And I can look in this end and see what's going on down there. We can control this, the movement, as we move this along through the lower part of your intestines. The procedure itself is not pleasant. It's really not uncomfortable as it is. I do have to put in a little puffs of air to expand the bowel so that I can see where I'm going. Sometimes that can cause some cramping. If you experience that, there are some things that I can actually do with the scope to help relieve that during the process or the procedure. The scope is passed as far as we can. We like to try to get up to about 40 centimeters, which is this mark here. However, anywhere between 30 and 40 is, is, is a pretty good exam. Depending on the patient's anatomy, how good a prep that we have, um, as to how far we're able to get. The only real risk involved is because I'm inserting a foreign body into, into your rectum, um, there can be damage done to the, small, to, to the lower part of the bowel. We minimize that because I don't move the scope unless I can see where I'm going. That reduces the risk to almost negligible. But it is, there, there is some, some element of risk. How should I prepare for the flex sig? The importance of a good prep, a clean colon means less pain. Before your exam, you will need the following, two Fleet's enemas and one 10-ounce bottle of magnesium citrate. The day before the exam, after lunch, drink liquids until midnight. Broth, bouillon, juices without pulp, soft drinks, jello, black coffee, or tea. Between 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock p.m., drink the 10-ounce bottle of magnesium citrate along with eight ounces of water. The morning of your appointment, read the instructions on the Fleet's enema boxes. Two hours before your appointment, give yourself the first enema. Look at the results of the enema in the toilet. If there are flakes of stool or colored water, use the other enema. You may take prescribed medications with water. For diabetic patients, do not, use, do not take your insulin or diabetic medications the morning of the procedure. Bring a snack and your insulin to the appointment. After the procedure, take your usual dose of insulin or oral medication with lunch. If you have any questions or concerns, please ask a nurse or your doctor. You can also call the clinic at 713 9800